Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. I am an online reseller and I sell most of my stuff on eBay but I do use other platforms as well like Etsy and Facebook. So today these are the items that I have bagged up shipping out today uh, that I've sold all from my eBay over the last two days. I believe I have like 20-25 items here to go out uh, but on my way out I am going to be going to a lot of charity stores so hopefully I can get some good footage for today's video of me picking up some awesome items at the charity shops. And uh, you're going to be seeing that in today's video. And then right at the end, I'm going to be discussing what I picked up and hopefully talking about what I expect to gain uh, from selling those on eBay or wherever I decide to sell them. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please drop a like and uh, feel free to subscribe. And we're going to head off now to the charity shops. Just heading in to my first charity shop of the day. Managed to find a few little bits in there, a Pikachu toy, a board game, a puzzle, and a Jessup's tripod for my camera. It's not bad. Let's head on over to charity shop number two. Unfortunately, charity shop number two was shut today, so we're heading straight into number three.
only managed to find two things in this one a little Kodak teddy bear and a replacement piece set for chess right we are now in charity shop number four Just bought a few little things in charity shop number four a game uh, which has four other games inside it and a wii game i am now just checking their one pound uh, clothing rack uh, because they had a few uh, men's suits on there so just seeing if there's anything worth picking up unfortunately nothing in there today no filming is allowed in the next charity shop so we have moved straight on to the next one um, and we only found one thing in this one unfortunately today but hopefully they get some new stock for next week and uh, we'll find some good stuff then Alright, last but not least, charity shop number 7, let's see what we can find in here.
Hello everybody and welcome back. We are now home with all of our stuff that we picked up today. I'm actually uh, using one of the items right now. Um, I picked up, as you would have seen, a Jessup's tripod from the first store that I went into today uh, for £5. Now this tripod is going for about £15-£20 second hand on eBay. I could probably get more if I sent it to Amazon but I don't currently do Amazon right now. Uh, but yeah, it's doing me pretty well. I'm not having to fumble around with the camera in my hand right now. I've got it standing up on this tripod and it's, well, it's still, it's not wobbling. So that's fantastic. Anyway, we're going to go through one by one all of the items that we picked up today. And uh, yeah, discuss why I bought them and what I think I can get for them if I'm lucky. So I actually got this one here, which you can see right at the end of the day. Uh, I didn't get this on camera because my camera had actually ran out of battery, uh, but I saw this in the charity shop by my house on the way home, and it was 99p, so I picked it up. Cluedo, the classic detective game. This one is from 2006. It is fully complete, and I should be able to get about 10, maybe 15 pounds if I'm lucky on eBay. Uh, a lot of board games do go better for a lot more money over on Amazon, but like I said, I'm not in the Amazon business right now. Uh, but hopefully in the future I'll get into it. I believe you have to pay like a monthly fee to be able to actually use it. And they have lots of restrictions on what you can actually sell on there when you're new. Um, and even when you're uh, a couple years into Amazon, there will be stuff that they still won't let you sell over there. I don't know why there's restrictions, but from what I've heard from people that do it, there is quite a few restrictions. So yeah, I'm happy with that one saw it in the window as I was walking past there was literally two minutes until the shop closed so I ran in there really quick with all my bags and uh, I bought that for 99p so I'm happy with that one right next up is Simon Optics now when I saw this I thought it was going to be a really good buy I looked inside and it was all there complete um, I'd never seen this before so I just presumed because it was like an electronic kind of like headset -y version it was going to be you know worth a little bit more than the normal one but I have had a little bit of a look and it's not really going for much maybe I can get eight nine pounds for it but yeah the shop I got this for I got everything in there that I picked up for four pounds so uh, this was one item that I picked up from in there let's see if I can close this box mm. there we go so that was the first item I got in there. Let's have a look, see if I can find the other item that I found without dropping everything. Okay. Second item I found, Trivia Pursuit, uh, Pursuit, pers Pursuit, I don't know how to say that word. Uh, Genus Edition. It's all in the mind. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but if we open this up, oh, losing the instructions. The board is in pretty much mint condition. The person that had this before clearly only used it once. I know that because only two of the packs are unsealed. The other two, brand new. That one and that one. Good days. So I've never actually sold Trivia Pursuit before. I always used to avoid it because I just thought that no one bought it. But from watching on on uh, on uh, YouTube for a while, sorry, uh, a lot of people buy Trivia Pursuit and they seem to get good results with it. So this will be a first for me. Um, I do sell a lot of board games, uh, as you will see in my videos. Um, this is not one that I would normally have bought, but it was in really good condition, and I thought, why not give it a chance? This was the second item that I got in that specific charity shop. I'm actually struggling to remember what the other thing was that I bought, but I know I bought, oh, I'll tell you what it was. It was a power adapter, um, which was a big metal one, and it had like 20 plugs on it. I actually needed that for myself. Uh, that was the other thing that I bought in there. So I got these two board games and that nice power adapter uh, for all of my plugs in my office with all of my cables for my PC and that for £4. So I basically paid £2 each for these and I got the cord for free that's how I work things out when I work out how much I paid for stuff because I'm not going to be selling that so two pound each on these two uh, which is pretty good 
I'll get my money back on the uh, where was it? what was it called Simon Optics and then uh, profit on Trivia Pursuit hopefully okay so the first charity shop we went to where I got this Jessup's tripod I also managed to pick up a Pika Pika this is like a soft toy but it has batteries in the bottom uh, I actually put the batteries in the cover for the battery is here I do have it so don't worry it's not uh, lost or anything so uh, basically when you squeeze his belly the ears come down and he lights up and speaks so that's pretty cool the only reason I picked this up was because it was Pokemon pretty much uh, and Pokemon always sells I'm hoping I can get some good money for that it does have a little mark on the top uh, I'm gonna see if I can wash that out and uh, yeah other than that it's in amazing condition like seems weird to have, give it a bit of a sniff but other than the odd little dark mark which will rub out it's in really good condition it's clearly not been in a smoker's house or someone that's had pets uh, so there's no hair or it doesn't stink uh, so that's good that will go hopefully 10 maybe more not sure not looked it up yet uh, but did I get anything else in that charity shop um, I believe ah yes okay bear with me one second guys it's all the way over here I got and I just dropped something I bought this puzzle I don't know how well you can see that pretty sure you can let me just adjust my camera look at that smooth movements lovely this is a vertical puzzle 1000 pieces brand new and sealed with this lovely lady on the front with a owl I don't know maybe and it's called Elixir Melanie Dellen Melani Dellen I don't know uh, but it seems to be of some sort of fantasy set of puzzles that you can get uh, so yeah I paid £2.50 for this I wouldn't normally pay £2.50 for a puzzle but it was sealed um, it's not like a generic puzzle it's quite different unique looking and it's kind of fantasy I know a lot of fantasy stuff does well uh, what with gaming and all that kind of stuff so yeah this was a risk I was willing to take for £2.50 and I believe I'm going to make quite a bit of money on this I'm hoping £15 to £20 maybe I've not looked it up too much yet but I did have a little sneak peek and they were going for okay money but just a not not a lot of them out there not a lot of sold if that makes sense so um, it's just one of those items that you don't get a lot you never I've never seen this before so it's not common so it might sit for a little while but hopefully once it goes I'll make some money on it so happy with that two pound fifty investment uh, moving on we have four five six seven eight about nine more items so I'll speed this up a little bit we bought a connect four wouldn't normally buy connect four they don't do too well the only reason people normally buy connect fours is to resell the pieces because you can sell sets of six of these each color for a couple of pounds plus shipping but this was a different one it was kind of like a different version so I thought why not give it a go and uh, see if this one's worth picking up in the future connect for okay next up diary of a wimpy kid cheese and touch this is actually missing one piece unfortunately they told me it was complete but I'll still be able to get maybe five or six pound on this believe I paid 99p so not the greatest if it was complete and in good condition, but as you can see, the box has a little bit of damage on it as well. Uh, you should be able to get £10 for it, but it's just one of those things. They tell you it's complete and it's not, unfortunately. Same goes with this one. This is a... Um, what is that game name? I forgot the name of the original. Guess Who? I think Harry Potter Guess Who unfortunately this is missing the card pack as you can see pick a card and then that's who you have to you know that's who you're hiding or that's who you are or whatever it is not played guess who in a while uh, it's all complete other than the cards so i'm hoping i'll still be able to get some money for this uh, maybe just obviously mention there's no cards hopefully you can get cards from somewhere else out there and that's not going to be too much of an issue but it was harry potter so it was uh worth taking the risk and i paid two pound on that one pound 99 right next up nice and simple toy story mania for the wii only reason i picked this up was because it was toy story never sold this before never had it before don't know the price on it 
Um, it was just one of those gambles for one pound. I thought it was worth taking. And uh, I have hundreds of Wii games. They seem to go out the door pretty quickly anyway. So I wasn't too worried with that. Now, we're running out of room here. This is a four in one board game with categories, trivia, pursuit, Pictionary, and then I guess this is poker. So this is just a standard blue jacket. Uh, the reason why I bought it was because the inside is like really old, 8090 vibe going on with this. So this is definitely vintage, unless this is like a more modern, uh, like remake of a vintagey kind of thing. Um, this will be going on my Etsy store. This will do really well. Anything with like crazy weird patterns like this will do really well on Etsy um, because all the all the hipsters buy their clothes on Etsy. Uh, so yeah, this is a Saint Michael made in Hong Kong. It's large, so that will do really well over there. I'll probably shoot for like forty, maybe fifty. If it doesn't go within a month or two, I'll lower it down. But I'm pretty sure that will be going pretty soon. Even though you guys are going to go, that's disgusting, it's ugly and horrible, it will go, I promise. Right, we've got one more thing, but it fell on the floor, so... Alright, last but not least, I got this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004, a century of flight, on PC, with all of the discs. In uh, all four of them. Crazy, isn't it? Back in the day, you'd have to use four discs to install a game. And now you just click download and it takes however long it takes with your internet. But yeah, 2004 edition. I always pick up flight simulators. They do sell for quite good money, but they do sit around for quite a while these days. Especially, obviously, now with Steam. Uh, you can just get this on Steam, I'm pretty sure. But some people like the discs still, so they're always worth picking up. I have a bunch of flight simulator games uh, still sitting around. But that will sell eventually, and I'll get like 15 pound for that or something so for a pound it's worth sitting on for a little while anyway that's all for today guys that's all of the uh, pickups that I managed to find today at the charity shop so hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did please smash a like feel free to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye